Hello and welcome to your shout. It's the day after the 3 0 drubbing against Newcastle, and to be perfectly honest, it doesn't feel an awful lot better today. Yesterday, I asked a few of you for your opinions and asked a few of you to send me in your videos, your clips, your rants. I didn't expect many people being too happy, and so it's proved. I'm going to watch through them now with you. Thanks for everybody that sent them in as well. You've all heard my opinion yesterday, you've heard enough from me, so let's just crack on with it. First of all, we have got Craig. This is my reaction video of West Ham United losing 3-0 to Newcastle United. I'm sorry, but in my opinion, Slavin Bilic now has to go. We have let in 10 goals in three games. It's just not good enough. Nothing has changed since last season. The back four look fucking awful. Sorry about my language, but I'm so pissed off. Um, there's nothing up front. Hernandez is so isolated. We've just got, in my opinion, we've just got to buy some players. I mean, even if we sign Cavallio, this is, I still don't think that's enough. I still think we need another three or four four players. Um, yeah, in my opinion, Slavin Bilic has to go. Maybe Benitez, but again, do we let Bilic go? And who do we get? I, I really don't know anymore. It's, it's starting to piss me off. Uh, it's a good thing I'm in Antigua. I'm going to have another beer. Come on, you irons. Thank you very much indeed, Craig. It was very good of Craig to um, send that video from his holiday. But I must say, of all the ones that I have, Craig and the next guy, Watsy, were the first people to send me these. So, I mean, you're getting reactions there within an hour of the game finishing. As I say, next up, we've got Watsy. What's going on your chat? Uh, what's here? I'm going to speak about uh, two things. First thing is that Billich now has to go. I think these, this free game opening in the Premier League it's, it's, it's embarrassing for us, for the club, and it's just uh, taking its toll now on the fans. And I, I, I really don't want to village out, village in the whole Vengura situation with West Ham because it divided fans and it really, really took a toll on the Arsenal fans as they were fighting each other. And that's something that West Ham fans really don't need. Second thing is I believe that Adrian has been treated bad on how Joe Hart comes into the comes into the side, and then Adrian's stripped of the number one shirt and it's gone and it's given to Joe Hart. And I think that's unfair on Adrian because I think that he is a good keeper. I, mean, I don't think he's a bad keeper. He's a good keeper. He's got a lot of potential. Just Show. show, let him show what he can do. Give him the power in in goal in a Premier League game. Give him the power and see what he can do. Because look at him in the Tottenham game. The saves he would have worked phenomenal. Now put Joe Hart in the Tottenham game. Would it still be the same result? Would it be still at one 0 That's what I'm asking you. Uh, so that's what I've got to say. Come on, you irons. Thank you very much indeed, Watsy. That's what we want. Strong opinions. Good point about Joe Hart at the end as well. Um, little did he know, Watsy, when he sent that, because he gave the uh, comparison with Arsenal fans that Arsenal were going to go on to get absolutely thumped today. So I don't know which team looks worse, quite frankly. Three more to go. Next up, we have got Mike. I've not heard this yet, so I don't know what Mike's got to say. Hello West Ham fans, it's Mike here, how are you? I'm well, thanks, thanks for asking. Um, here we are, uh, after the third game of the season uh, in the league, uh, away in Newcastle, bottom of the league, um, conceded 10 goals, scoring two. Uh, look, it's, it's been rubbish, let's just get on with it, it's been rubbish. Why is the question, and um, <laughs> I'm not going to single out players, etc., uh, I'm just going to say something, and I don't want to sound like a um, a stop record here, but we have no philosophy or style of play. I know I've been going on about this forever, but we don't. What are we? Are we a possession-based team? Not really, because we give the ball all the time. Are we a counter-attacking team? No, we're not. We haven't got the pace for it. Um, I, I don't actually know what it is the team are meant to do when they're on the pitch as a unit. Um, and, by the looks of it, neither do they. Now, here's the thing. Um, in the last cup of tea with Gio and Gonzo, and always a good watch, I asked a question on the live feed, and, um, and it was the last question that was answered on, on the show. And um, my question was, 
why are we so poor compared to 15-16? And the guys, consider response, it was a very good response, one I agree with, is that the 15-16 season was an exceptional season because it was our last season at the bowling ground and uh, a certain Mr Dimitri Pai was in the team and bang on form. Great. I actually agree with that. It probably is why it was such a good season. But those things have gone. We're no longer at the bowling ground. That's been and gone. Paillet's been and gone. And if those were the mitigating factors for us being that good, what, what have we got now? Um... So it all comes around to Mr. Billich, doesn't it? It was his first season. Everyone points at that, his golden season. But if that wasn't that much to do with him and was more to do with other factors, that might well explain why we've been piss poor since. Uh, anyway, um, that's my view. Uh, come on, you irons. Don't give up faith. I love Southern Billich. He's a super, super guy. But he's got to go, hasn't he? I really like that, Mike. That was excellent. Very, very considered opinion. Uh, very thoughtful. Do we have? Do we have a style of play? Do we have an identity? Uh, let, let us know. Let us know in the comments below, or send in your videos. I'm going to be doing these. I'm going to be doing two or three of these all week. It's info at hammerschat.com. That's info at hammerschat.com. Record yourself on your phone, just like these guys have done. Send in your clip. And I will feature it. Right, next up, we've got Scott. Scott used to be in all of our videos on Hammers Chat. We've not had him on for a while. We welcome him back. He's a straight shooter. Let's hear what Scott's got to say. Hi, Scott here. Um, West Ham. Uh, it's not brilliant, is it? You know, holding the table up again. It's just, you know, we're sort of used to being in and around the bottom uh, in recent years. Thought this year we're going to be a bit different. Uh Fantastic squad on paper, uh, but as it turns out, sort of not gelling. Is that the gaffer's fault? Uh, lots of social media talking about getting rid of the gaffer. Uh, me personally, nah, nah. Uh, I'd be on it uh, like a car bonnet if, if I thought actually it, it needs changing. Uh, got a decent squad together uh, this time. Uh, could probably do with another uh, another midfielder, uh, but. At the end of the day, uh, needs time. It's three games. Uh, you know, you've got to put it into perspective. Uh, three games, and uh, yeah, you know, can understand people going on. Uh, it's, it's Newcastle. At the end of the day, mistake got them back into it. They got a bit of confidence. Uh, pushed on from there. We've got a goal scorer. We've got a decent squad. Let's let's stay with him, uh, and let's see where we're at. You know, in another three or four games. Having said that, uh, you know, I've seen on social media that um, Newcastle manager's got a £5 million clause in there if anyone comes in for him. So if we're looking for experience and we're looking for somebody that's done the rounds and knows how to get the best out of players, uh, then, you know, let's go back up to Newcastle and, and, and get the man. Uh, but me personally, let's, let's leave Slav where he is for a bit. Thanks very much for sending that in, Scott. Now, we've so we've had three before Scott. So we've had Craig, we've had Watson, we've had Mike. They all think Billich should go. We've got Scott there who thinks Billich deserves a bit more time. And from what I've seen, bearing in mind we do these videos on YouTube, we've got the forum and we've got the Twitter, I would say that is probably a fair ratio to how the fans are feeling and looking at the moment. Right, last up, we've got Mr B and... He's from, well, again, I've not seen this, but I, I know because he sent me a little message beforehand. I know I know he's a bit grumpy, to be perfectly fair, so let's just hear what he's got to say. Hello, Mr B here. It's Sunday morning, and I am still mightily fucked off after yesterday's uh, atrocious display. Yet another woeful performance up at Newcastle. Um, I'll make no apologies for it whatsoever. This is just a complete total and utter billage out rant. Um, I've been I've been in that school of thought for um, well probably the last ten eleven months certainly October November last year you could see the writing was on the wall the way he was setting their teams up and there was all the fucking lame excuses about the stadium and God knows what and pay a. but bottom line is we were shit last season um, we sh he was shitter this season with a you know a better squad that he's got um, you know again. Yesterday set up, he went out there. It was just like eleven strangers. There's no, he's got no tactics to beat a Premiership manager. You have gotta have some idea of like you know tactical awareness, pretty basic, um, and you've got to know how to motivate. 
he can't motivate. He stands there with his hands on his fucking knees. Um, he just looks completely lost. He's got no idea. I don't. His, his coaching staff. I don't know what the fuck they do. The whole thing is a complete shambles, and the fucking bloke has got to go because otherwise, if not, we have got. It's, a, it's another Avram Grant stroke Glenn Roder stroke situation where you've got good players, people can't manage them, we end up fucking going down. And that is, believe me, three games in, that is on the cards. I mean, Newcastle, all right, they're a premiership side now, but they've just come up from the championship. They've got a lot of players that played in the championship last year. We should be turning them over. They ain't good. We are fucking shit. And, you know, you've got things like, you know, Rice is the, okay, he made a mistake. But don't annihilate the bloke's confidence by actually taking him off you know, at half time, what does that do? It's like Oxford, he made a mistake, OBO makes a mistake. You know, are people not allowed to make one mistake? And, you know, it's a collective thing, it's a team. So, you know, with Rice, why was there not a call man on? You know, it happens in fucking Sunday football. It's just, oh, it's just really, really got to, oh, it's got to me. It's just absolutely, absolutely dire. He persists in playing no ball, Noble's legs are gone. You know, why can people not fucking understand? He, you know, you watch him, people just run away from him. He can't, he can't track back. He, he's just, you know, he's just so slow. He's dreadful. Um, you know, we've got good players. We need a fucking good manager. Um, you know, oh, I'm going to lose it in a minute, so I think it's time to shut down. Billich has got to go. I don't want to see him there at Huddersfield because all that's going to do... It's like if you had a dog or a cat or something that's poorly, right? you put it out of his misery, wouldn't you? You wouldn't let it suffer for another week or another month. But no, fucking Billich, he'll be there for Huddersfield, I'm sure. And he'll probably get a draw. And then he'll get another three games, another four games. And we'll just be in the same cycle of shit all the time. Fucked off of it. And uh, I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, heartfelt stuff from Mr B there. I'm sure everyone shares his frustrations. That, that, that bloke does not normally swear, by the way. So you know he has had enough. Um, it's really hard to to comment on stuff like that. Because I had my say yesterday. We did half an hour review. So everyone knows what I think about the situation. But this is exactly what this channel is, is for and was meant to be for. And this is going to be for you lot to have your say on it. So the more people that join in, the better. Even if I haven't got time to stitch it all together, then I will put the videos up singly. This is your platform. This is where you all get to say your piece. Um, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. I've got three or four more videos coming to me in the next day and whatever else you guys send in. So keep them coming. There'll be another video up soon. Thank you to our sponsor, Noble Holidays. Link below. We all need a holiday, don't we now? I've just come back off one. Um, there you go. Please subscribe. Click in that corner there. Subscribe you to our channel. That's it. We've all had enough, haven't we? International break anyway, but... I think a lot's going to happen during that period. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.